Hi everybody, uh, what we're doing today is we're doing some testing with metal armor on four different substrates. We have stainless steel and mild steel, which is on the left and the right. And then we have galvanized metal and aluminium. You can see the line where I've marked where the coating is. The coating is from this side down. Um, and we have five different, four, sorry, five different sets of plates. Um, each will be dipped into and left in different concentration amounts of caustic soda. Each one of these containers contains two liters of water, cold water, and will be diluted in its right proportion to contain the right percentage of concentration of caustic soda. Okay, so we have now everything ready, mixed in and suspended in each concentration level. Um, right now, the time is 1.28 p.m. on Thursday the 1st of March. This is our 10% concentration level. We can see that the aluminium is starting to react with the caustic soda, etc. Uh, and also the galvanized metal. Over here we can see our bigger reaction in the 20% concentration of the aluminium. <coughs> Pardon me. In the 30% it's even stronger again. Um, it's reacting strongly with the aluminium and with the galvanized iron. In the 40% container it's stronger again. It's much much milkier. And finally in the 50% container it is completely <laughs> dissolving the aluminium very quickly. So we'll leave this in here for everybody. It's been seven hours now um, since we started this test. The so far from just observing the 10% caustic soda has absolutely had no effect at all on the coating whatsoever. Um, I'll just lift this and I'll show you. This is a piece of aluminium. As you can see where the coating is and where the coating isn't, the aluminium has been eaten away by the caustic soda. This is a piece of galvanized iron. Again, you can see that has gone darker where it as you can visually see the galvanized metal and the coating has not been harmed. We move across over to 20 percent you can always straight away see there's a big difference here between the water. Um, again we'll lift a piece of aluminium Oops, sorry that's the stainless steel piece of aluminium Okay, the aluminium has been really dissolved. The coating has shown very little sign of destruction, maybe a fraction. So this is, we're talking about a 20% caustic environment, which is extremely high when we're discussing natural environment, which is one part per million of caustic soda. There's the galvanized iron. Again, the coating side is nice and clean and you can really see the effect of the caustic soda on the top. The mild steel and the stainless don't have much of a reaction. Uh, in this you can just start to see that the coating is bubbling off, so it is being harmed by the caustic soda. That's on the mild steel and the stainless steel similar results where it's starting to bubble off the surface we would expect this to get worse as we move to the 30 percent pool again quite dirty we'll start with the galvanized iron there you go you can see a huge difference between that and the coating below now interestingly enough the coating below has not bubbled off the galvanized iron metal sorry and the aluminium that has clearly bubbled and is starting to come off the surface the stainless steel the coating is actually very very good it hasn't even moved and the mild steel Again, the coating is very good. It hasn't bubbled as it was as it has on the other one. Now that could also be because 
these two pieces of metal weren't cleaned perfectly well and hence the nano hasn't adhered well we go to the 40% pool where we would expect everything to be pretty much close to destroyed again the coating on the galvanized iron is fine and the top section is completely destroyed and again at the back here same thing there's absolutely no sign of any lifting off the surface of this and that's up 40 percent the aluminium okay well the coating has clearly come away as you can see it's folded down and over the top and has come off the aluminium surface the mild steel sorry the stainless steel has bubbled quite badly and so would I expect it to be on the, uh, the mild yes it is bubbling as you can see the bubbles of the nano coming off and finally the most potent one we have you can see it <laughs> you can see the coating here floating on top of the surface I'll just get piece of something to lift it to show you. Okay hi everybody we're back here at the caustic soda test it's been now a week and a half and the reaction has come has completely finished in all of the tubs from 10 to 50 percent. Um, I'll show you go ahead and show you what the results are. Right okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start with um, with the 10 percent. Now first before we start I just want to show you something so if you come in and have a look um, if you have a look in the 10 percent pool all the metal is still there in the 20 percent the aluminium is completely gone but if you have a look inside the tank you can see there's a little square there and I'll show you what that is in a moment again aluminium is gone aluminium is gone and aluminium is gone so in all of these instances except for the 10 percent concentration level the aluminium has been completely disintegrated all right so we've got our first one which is our galvanized metal now this is the aluminium residue that's left over with some salt over the top. I'm going to scrape that off. But as you can see, the coating has not been affected at all. So it's perfectly clean. But if we go down here, this is the buildup of the aluminium. You can see on here where the caustic soda has eaten into the galvanized steel but hasn't attacked the coated section of the steel. Aluminium, that is it, that's what's left over. It's been completely eaten away. Now if we look inside, there's the broken bit of aluminium but yet again on top the coating is not destroyed. It's eaten around everything but not the coating. This is the mild steel. As you can see the colour has changed in the mild steel here and the coating has not been affected at all. So everywhere it's not coated has been destroyed. And, oh, sorry that was stainless steel and this is mild steel. Again the coating is not destroyed and underneath we'll have a look coating is still visible has not been destroyed by the solution okay move across to the 20 percent tank now this is the interesting bit again the aluminium has been destroyed but there's the nano coating so the aluminium is dissolved nano coating survives same deal again this is our gal as you can see coated not coated completely black and eaten away by the acid that has been untouched stainless steel the coating is starting to flake off okay but it still survived and I would imagine that's the same thing would happen underneath here yep the coating is still visible and still sitting on there but I can if I push it scrape it hard enough that will come off finally the mild steel Again, the coating has survived, has not been affected, but you can see the difference where the mild steel has been eaten away versus here it has not. 
Okay, 30%. Okay, in here we see, interestingly, galvanized metal again. The coating has survived. Now you see that scratch here? That's because when I sprayed these pieces of steel, this is a little run that the nano ran down the steel because I put a little bit too much on. So you can see where it hasn't even penetrated there. Again, the galvanized, eaten, coated, not eaten. Same thing underneath. Just actually scratch this. As you can see, coated, uncoated. What's on top is a chemical reaction between the caustic soda and the aluminium. Stainless. Coating is starting to flake off. On top is the buildup of aluminium. Again, coating has survived. Mild steel, again, eaten a slightly different colour. Again, on the top, aluminium build up. Move to 40%. Okay, the nano coating. It's just flaked off the aluminium while the aluminium has been completely dissolved. Again, galvanized metal. Okay, here we can see starting that the coating has been started to be destroyed. This is, a t we're talking at 40% concentration of caustic soda. That is extremely acidic. Um, untreated, treated. Stainless steel. Okay, we can see that the nano is starting to come off. So the metal armor has started to give up the ghost, which is extremely well done for 40% strength. And finally, the mild steel. Interestingly, the coating survive, has survived. It's not even flaking off. And finally, 50%, which I wouldn't expect then nothing to survive in. This is the galvanized iron. Okay, so, okay, nano is dead on both sides. That's just the buildup of the aluminium again. Next is stainless. Well, that's interesting. Some of the nano is still on here, but it is starting to flake. And finally, mild steel. Wow. Well, there's the coating. Hasn't even began to come off. And on this side, I would expect the same. This side is still on there. I don't know if you can zoom in here and you can see that difference in the color between the two. Can you see that? So it's dark black and light. So nano has survived. So amazingly even at 50% the nano coating on certain metals like this mild piece of steel has survived. Stainless steel probably 95% to 98% is still there. Galvanized iron well didn't fare up well on that. I would imagine that it would be down in this tank somewhere, floating in bits and pieces. There's a bit of nano there, and the aluminium has completely dissolved. So there you have it, folks. That's it. That's it. That's the end of our little test. Um, hopefully that shows the amazing qualities of the nano true true metal armor, true nano metal armor. Sorry, um, that it's quite resistant to.